Exploring Tibet was my most unforgettable experience. Flew in from Chengdu, arrived at Lhasa with attitude of 3,656 meters. Staying in San Regis Resort Hotel has a good view of the Potala Palace from the top floor. This one of the most beautiful luxurious hotel in Tibet, even better with Tibetan hospitality. Tibetan are very friendly and peaceful culturally. They are very religious and giving by nature. They pray anywhere at any time with rotating praying wheels. The praying wheel contained holy scriptures. Rotating the wheel symbolized scripture reading. This is Potala Palace where Dalai Lama used to live. It's the historical landmark of Lhasa. The animals in Tibet are unique. This hairy cow is very small and the Tibetan Mastiff is a big dog resemble lion. Tibet is very colorful. It's heaven for photography. It's like going back in time with the whole population still in their ancient costumes. This is also how they preserve their beautiful culture and religious beliefs. The temples are open for prayer anytime. People are praying anywhere even outside the temple. Many faithfuls walk and pray for miles to reach the temple every day without any schedules. This prayer practice will take whole day to perform more than 1,000 times to complete. Many older Tibetans still remember the British colonial when Tibetan religion were considered uncivilized and trying to Christianize all their colonized lands. Fortunately, they managed to free themselves with weapon given by China. Otherwise, Tibet would be no difference for Australia or Hawaii under Western colonial lifestyle. Today, Tibetan are free to build temple to worship. Infrastructure continue improving. Traditional caste system already abolished. Every Tibetan are equal to have education and opportunity to thrive. Every afternoon after lunch, the monks will get together in a garden to discuss on the current issues, from religion, social to technology evolution, to improve their general knowledge. This whole temple complex was burned down during communist revolution. Today, after China's reformation, the whole temple was rebuilt and restored to its grandeur. This is Sakya Library House, the oldest 84,000 Tibetan Holy Scripture scrolls with gold ink on black paper. The paper was made of black color root of poisonous plant known as rejack, that insects will not consume, and written with gold ink that will last a long time. The Tibetan respect nature. They don't pray for themselves, but for each others, and they believe in blessing other to bless themselves. Their selfless nature had transformed into the culture of giving. The temple is full of donated money everywhere, even on the floor, and no one would steals. With so much political misinformation today, to know the truth is to travel to understand directly from the people who live there. And to my surprise, they don't like the Western countries maybe due to their colonial past where some of Tibetan were sold as slaves like the African. Thank you for watching.